In this video, I'm going to shock all of you with my review of the Under Armour Velocity Elite version number two. What is up everybody and welcome to our review of the Under Armour Velocity Elite version two. Now my name is Chris Ford and I'm a running coach who likes to do shoe reviews here on YouTube. And today, genuinely, I'm gonna shock all of you with my impressions of this shoe. Now, before we get into the review, let's do a few disclaimers. Firstly, the shoe was supplied to me by the awesome guys at Start Fitness. Head over to startfitness.co.uk where you can buy this shoe and loads of other shoes and you get free socks with any shoe purchase. And if you are smart, like most of you are, you'll use the code 40 runs and you're gonna get 10% off of any purchases that you make. Now the second disclaimer is 21 miles only in the shoe. I've been tapering for the London Marathon, hopefully you know by now that I'm running the London Marathon. Now that is relevant because on this channel this year I've been trying to get these super shoes into races. But obviously I've not had the opportunity to do that because I've been tapering. So let's call this video a, not first impressions, maybe some initial thoughts. Right, so with that out of the way, Let's move on. Right, so how this video is gonna work, I'm gonna give you all a history lesson, then I'm gonna tell you all the stats and features about this shoe, then I'm gonna tell you all the things I like, things I don't like, and we're gonna wrap it up at the end and I'm gonna shock every single one of you. Okay, right, so history lesson. Now on this channel, over the past couple of years, I have absolutely destroyed Under Armour running shoes. And when I say destroyed, I don't think other than one shoe, I've given them a positive review. And that is because they're overweight, the technology's old, the midsoles are not very exciting, the outsoles are terrible, and there's just much better shoes out there than what Under Armour offers. Now, it's not for a want of trying, and I've not deliberately gone out to you know, spill hate all over the people at Under Armour. It's just I've got to give my honest opinion on the running shoes that they make, and so far, other than one shoe, the rest of them, well, I just don't care for. So that's the history lesson, okay? Now let's move on to stats and features about the Elite version two. Right, so there's a lot going on here versus the previous version, which you can actually grab on the Start Fitness website if you like the first version, pretty cheap at the moment. Anyway, right, so this shoe is 225 pounds here in the UK. It's 274 grams. Uh, this is a UK 10, it doesn't fit true to size, which is about 9.6 ounces. There's no official stack heights on the shoe that I've seen anywhere. What I have seen when I had to research it was the fact of, and according to Running Warehouse, they've increased the stack of three and a half millimeters in the heel, so we've now got 39 and a half millimeters, and they've increased the stack under the forefoot by nine and a half millimeters, which gives us 37 and a half millimeters based on the previous shoe. Now, according to that math, that gives us a two millimeter drop. We've got a dual layer setup in the shoe, We've got a PBAX foam here, and then we've got the supercritical EVA flow foam that sits underneath that PBAX foam that wraps around all the way, including the outsole. We've got a scooped full length carbon plate in the shoe, and then we've got this warp upper. Okay, so like I said, the shoe doesn't fit true to size. This is a UK 10. I've got plenty of width in the toe box, so no issues there. The tongue is not gusseted. There's a reasonable amount of foam around the heel, just enough. We've got some kind of sidewalls in the shoe. I would say it's kind of built up on the side, which is good. It's a very narrow in the heel section and the midfoot, but on the other scale, it's very wide here on the forefoot. Like I said, you've got the supercritical EVA flow foam on the outsole, so traction's a bit sketchy, but I've been really lucky and only ran these once in the rain, and it was all right. You can see the plate there, but like I said, it's a scooped shape plate, and I think that's probably about it in terms of stats and features and everything you need to know. Okay, right, so let's do the things I like. I like the upper, I really like the upper actually. I like the way it looks, by the way. I like the lockdown, despite it not fitting true to size, I like the fit. I like the amount of foam around the heel. I like the fact they put some sidewalls in to add some stability, because you really need it in the heel section because it's so narrow. I like the foam setup actually. You've got this PBAX foam here which is what you get on the Saucony Endorphin lineup, very similar to what you got in the first version actually. And then obviously with the super critical EVA, it actually works quite well together. And that's probably about it in terms of likes. Things I don't like, 225 pounds, although you can use my code 40 runs and get some money off of that. I don't like the flow out, so I think it's gonna wear out very quickly. I don't like the weight. For a super shoe at 9.65 ounces, they've got that absolutely wrong. And that's probably about it in terms of dislikes. Okay, right. So here it is. I actually really like this shoe. I mean, really like this shoe. Now, like I said, I've not put this into a race, but the stuff I've been doing in this 21 miles, for example, there was one run I did, which was uh, like a progressive run. I was down at six and a, six and a half, six fifty per mile in this shoe. 
and it was a loving life. I used it on a club session, I picked up the pace, felt great. I've really liked it as a training shoe. It's really felt great and it's overwhelmingly surprised me and that's the shock people because the shock is i actually really like it but the problem is i really like it as a training shoe now could i use it in a half marathon absolutely and the problem is with the shoe it's 225 pounds although i know you can get it cheaper at start fitness so it's hard to justify a 225 pound training shoe but for example i'd much rather be in this than that silly shoe from hoka this just suits me better i do like up tempo feeling shoes and for whatever reason this works now look there's a couple of things you need to be aware of. Firstly, if you pronate in any shape or form, you need to avoid the shoe because it is super narrow in this section here. You've got this big pad to land on here, which is great if you're more in your stride like there, which is where you know they want you to be. But if you are a heel striker or you pronate in any shape or form, you really need to avoid the shoe. The other thing, like I said, you need to be aware of is that probably the outsole is not gonna last forever. But as a training shoe, half marathon shoe, I really liked it. And yes, it's not very good at those sort of lower paces, but it's not meant to be used for lower paces. At like seven and a half minute miles and lower, as I said, I was dropping into sixes, the shoe felt great. And I think that's to do with what's under your forefoot here. They've ratched this up nine and a half millimeters with this p foam under there. And it's a great ride. It's not mushy, it's not soft. It's just a perfect compound for me. And that's the thing, it is perfect for me. I do prefer that sort of feel under my forefoot. So look, this might not work for you, but for me, I really like it. But again, it's hard to justify a 225 pound training shoe. Now I've got a few half marathons after London Marathon and I am tempted to put these into play and then report back and I think that's probably what we'll do. So stick around, we'll do a follow up video on the shoe but right now I really like it and that is the biggest shock. I really have not got on with any Under Armour shoes of late but this thing, I really like it. I like it a lot. So there we go people, shock to the system. You were probably thinking Fully's going to go off on one about this Under Armour shoe, but I'm not, right? Yeah, it's heavy. Yeah, it's like 225 pounds, but as a training shoe, I really like it. I don't know, this. it's that shoe that you can use for those like tempo runs, those progressive runs, and those sort of slightly longer runs where you want to put a bit of goal work in there or a bit of, yeah, faster work through there. That's where, you know, I can see the shoe working in the rotation. So yeah, the big shock is there's an Under Armour shoe out there for me. Okay guys, right, so big shout out to the guys at Start Fitness. Head over to startfitness.co.uk where you can buy that shoe. Again, use the code 40 runs and you're gonna get 10% off of that. You also get those free socks, which is pretty awesome. Uh, and that's on all the shoes that you buy at Start Fitness. So again, big shout out to those guys. Thanks for sending me the shoe. Okay, people, so let me know in the comments, are you tempted, not tempted? Do you have the shoe already? Let me know the feedback, I'll be interested to see what you think. But that's it from me, guys. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave me today, and I'll catch you later.